light. It's all around us. From the first rays of sun that peek over the horizon until the moment we switch off the lamp and go to bed at night. Everything we see is dependent on light, and yet it is something we take for granted. Light is electromagnetic radiation in the form of a wave. Another type of electromagnetic radiation is radio waves. We don't see them, but they are all around us. Radio waves travel through the air bringing information to radio receptors, which is translated into sound. Light waves act in a similar way. Okay, we see things by light that is reflected off objects that is focused by the lenses in our eyes and onto the retina. And the retina is a network of cells, light sensitive cells, which carry a signal to the brain and the image is formed in the brain and we, we understand what we've seen. We often assume all of the light around us is the same, but some of the light we see is special. We refer to this light as laser light. I think most people, when they hear of lasers, they think of James Bond films and Austin Powers. Um, the reality is not quite as glamorous, but certainly far more useful. Laser stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. The difference between normal light and laser light is that lasers are directional, monochromatic and coherent. Directional means that the wavelengths are going in the same direction. They do not disperse like those in normal light, but stick together, forming a thin, straight line. Different frequencies of light are what cause us to see different colors. Lasers can only be one color because their wavelengths have the same frequency. This is called monochromatic. Normal light's wavelengths have frequencies that do not match, and this appears as white light. Coherent means all of the wavelengths are in sync with each other, rising and falling at the same time. Normal light, on the other hand, is incoherent, meaning that the wavelengths rise and fall at random. Let's take a look at some of the places lasers are found. The barcode reader is one type of laser, and it is often found in supermarkets and libraries. A barcode scanner, you shine, in that case, a red laser at a barcode. The black areas absorb the beam, the white areas reflect the beam, so you get a pattern which is read by a sensor, which is interpreted as data. Lasers can also be found in DVD players, printers, and computer mouses. Lasers are also used for some cosmetic procedures, including hair removal and skin rejuvenation. For hair removal, the laser has a light um, crystal head, and the light picks up the pigment under the skin of the hair. It gets carried through to the follicle and slowly suffocates the follicle. For skin rejuvenation, skin rejuvenation, the rays of the light go through onto the skin and it helps your body to produce collagen, which strengthens the fibers, which plumps out the skin. Other occupations that use lasers include ophthalmology, dentistry, and construction. When lasers were invented, they were called the solution in search of a problem. Um, people had these cool things, but they had no idea what to do with them. And in the last 50 years or so, um, they are really found in, in every application. Everywhere you look, you'll find a laser being used for something. Scientists have come a long way from understanding how light works to discovering the laser and its various applications. Who knows what the future holds? But one thing's for sure, lasers are really cool to look at. <laughs>